Well, I'm back at it again, fixing to do another sink uh, tutorial. And yes, I'm going to do this step by step. For the ones that didn't see it or hasn't seen the last one, I'm going to explain what I'm doing as I do it. Because I'm still having a lot of people, not on YouTube, but on Facebook and Instagram asking me how I do my sinks. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to show them. But this one's going to be a little different. I'm not going to go wild with the colors and I'm just going to put a little bit of a uh, Kona brown, some dark walnut brown, and some black and white. And uh, see how that looks. And of course, if I don't like it, or if my wife, the boss, don't like it, because it's going in uh, one of our bathrooms, if she don't like it, well, I'll redo it. But I know she will. Anyway... Let me get over here and mix this epoxy and we'll get to it. one-to-one -one mix ratio and when you mix it with your drill make sure you hold on to the container if you don't epoxy is going to go everywhere and if you see little looks like gnats or something flying around the camera it's not it's microscopic but well not microscopic but very small bubbles coming out of the epoxy and you want to mix it for about two minutes with your drill if you're doing it by hand, mix it about seven minutes. Once I get done mixing with my paddle, I'll scrape my sides with a paint stick to get as much of that unmixed epoxy as I can. I'm going to tell you, a lot of people use a trial. I use a trial for everything except on a sink. I use a paintbrush for my sinks, it's just easier to control the epoxy. And I've got to, uh, I'm using this, it's an art brush, my, one of my wife's art brushes. If she finds out I'm using it, she's gonna skin me alive. I didn't go get uh, none of my regular chop brushes. no other way to do it than to just get it out on your surface and a lot of it's going to go to waste that's the bad thing about pouring sinks there will be two pours on this sink once this sets up I'll stand it up on its backsplash and pour my backsplash you'll see that video as well Yes, a lot of your epoxy is literally going to go straight down the drain. The bad thing is there's nothing you can do about it. Make sure you get your sides coated good. And you're not going to be able to stop it from going down the drain, so it's, it's useless to even try. I mean, but I, I still try anyway. I just, it's hard for me to let all that epoxy go down the drain.
All right, I'm gonna get my color and start putting my color in. We're gonna start out with gloss white. Let me see if my camera's still recording real quick. Yep, still recording. I'm going to use just a little bit of this Kona Brown. And I'm going to use some dark walnut. And I'm running out of the dark walnut. Just my luck. Now I'll take my paint stick with what I've got on here. Wait, one more thing. Let me get a little bit of this corner brown in the very back back there. And a touch of white back there. And a little bit of this dark walnut back there. Now I'll take my paint stick and I'll just go from side to side. And I'll add my color as I see fit to whatever pleases you. Don't be afraid to add color. There's a little trick you can do with your paint stick. If you've gotten color or if you want, if you're if, like right in here, if you want some of this white to come over here, you can turn your paint stick sideways Make like a little plow and roll that color over onto itself. Need a touch more white. I'm also going to give it a shot of black. See, like right here, I really don't have no color. We can take care of that.
a lot of people have been giving me a lot of backlash on YouTube about the way I do my sinks. I guess it's not up to their standard or they think I should do it a different way. A lot of them on Facebook have been giving me a lot of backlash too for whatever reason. And I just want to show people, I have people ask me how I pour my sinks and I, you know, I'm trying to show, just show the way I do it. I enjoy helping and showing and that's what I'm going to do. Need a little color right here. Now it's when you, you can't judge it yet. You have to let it do its thing. There's something else you can do too. I have all this extra clear epoxy. You can make little clear veins through your surface. Makes it look pretty neat. I'm trying to see where I might need some more color at. Let me see. Maybe a touch of black back here. Really, guys, it's not a really hard process at all. It's really an easy, easy thing to do. Here in the next couple of days, I'm going to, I've got some epoxy ordered from a few different places of the places that I've used. I've had a lot of people ask me, what's the best epoxy to use? What epoxy do I like best? Well, I mean, I like different epoxies for different things and I'm going to make a little a tutorial just about epoxy brands and what I like about them and why I think they're best for certain things so stick around for that if you guys ain't subscribed yet you might want to get yourself subscribed and look for that video and that also it helps support the channel Give me a thumbs up if you guys get any value out of any of my videos. That helps the channel as well.
that video I'm going to be using. Well, I'll just wait for the video to come out and I'll talk about that. Right now I want to concentrate on this sink. Let me give it a little torch. get you down off the tripod and give you a closer look. Now before you start judging your project, you want to let let it sit for a while and uh, let the colors meld together and move and, and do their thing because it's going to continue to move. This will look not dramatically different tomorrow. I'm sorry about the glare, by the way. It'll look completely different come tomorrow, though. Now, see, I think I should take my paint stick and right here, touch this up. I don't know, maybe not. It looks completely different in person than it does through this camera lens. It's unreal, the difference. Let's see if I can get you down close, give you some detail. See, I don't like this right here. The way that epoxy, I mean, I'm sorry, the way the paint looks. And that'll straighten itself back. You leave your epoxy in your container too long. I don't know if you can see that steam coming off of it. But that's what happens. Let's see if you can see the smoke. Yeah, there it is. That's how much heat it's creating on its own. It's prematurely uh, setting up. Now, let's move some of these colors around with this heat gun. Sorry about the jerkiness. I'm trying to let you guys see this as I do it.
Anderson calls that epoxy to run on down and go ahead and give you a good design. You got to give your epoxy a chance to to work and do its thing because it'll move. It'll move around on its own. It'll uh, it'll continue to move for another thirty minutes or so. I think it looks pretty neat how it's going down the drain. See if I can get you guys at a different angle here. It literally looks like a river of frosty water right here, just flowing over. That's so neat. It's got some outstanding detail in it. Right here in front, it literally looks like a river of frosty water and it's just flowing and it just flows over the edge. So neat. Anyway, if you guys get any value out of any of my videos, uh, drop me a thumbs up, please. It helps support the channel and helps get me a little higher in the queue. I'm trying to reach my thousand subscribers so I can get monetized. I'd love to get monetized and that would allow me to do more with this channel. And uh, Leave me a comment in the comment section below. We can, if you got any questions about anything at all, it doesn't matter what it is, please leave me a comment. I answer every one of my comments, bad or good, I answer them. Now, if you haven't got yourself subscribed yet, get subscribed, ring the notification bell so you know when I do have a video come out. And as always, God bless and have a good night.